Hello there and welcome back to the Son of the Toa. In the last episode we recovered the Orb of Courage, I believe, the Lekoro Orb, and heard that there is some kind of a crisis going on in Lekoro. Yeah, the, the rock she has attacked. Shadows. Yes, how do you like Lekoro? It's much more bearable now. If you don't leave now, we'll kill you. With only four orbs, that's a bit of a long shot. Don't make me repeat myself. We know you're weak. I am not weak. You may have defeated me, but I am still strong enough to beat you. Try us. Let's compromise, shall we? Give me those orbs and I'll leave. Never. If you don't, I'll kill every villager here. No! We won't let you do that. Hand over the orbs. Fine. Yes. It's not a... Oh, okay. Just didn't click it. Yeah! Ah. So we fooled him. That was good thinking. Too dark close. What matters is the shadows is gone. Let's go to talk to Matau. And everything's back to normal. Just like that, okay. That was stark frightening. Indeed it was. Uh, okay, you still say the same thing. And you still sing. Still so happy even though your village was almost destroyed. Well, I suppose we're going to talk to Matau then. We are down deep in your depth, son of the Toa. That whole thing was just so he could get our orbs. Which means he fear knows that they are dangerous. I suppose it's a good thing he let his guard down. We might not have been able to stop him. You were bluffing? Shadows was telling the truth about still being strong? Yes, you can never underestimate him. Ever. I quick would celebrate the safe health of Lakoro, but dark times are still upon us. Not for long, hopefully. If I know Shadows, he'll be healing his wounds while we get the other two orbs. If we're fast enough, we can catch him off guard and defeat him. And if he's still health strong, as health strong and ready, we'll do our best. It's my duty. And mine. Thought right. If I may help make a suggestion, suggestion I'd recommend going way east towards Kokoro. I know the tunnels to Onukoro are down closed. Thank you, Turaga. We'll go to Kokoro, then. Uh, okay, bright light upon your journey. Wait, did he say where... How we get to Kokoro? I think I remember, though. To be fair, I think I remember. We have some money, but I'm afraid to use it. Like, I want to train in speed again, but... Maybe it's be best uh, just to go. Let's try this Toa Axe again. Okay, I'm beginning to think this thing was actually worth the air sword. Alright, so uh, it also works on Harakiki plants. And now we actually have a new random, new kind of uh, random encounter for the first time in a really long while. It's been just Fikus and Kofoyagas for who knows how long. And uh, Kiwas also. So, alright, now we're... Okay. Cranavolt. Wait. I mean, that's a reference to the Bulrock online animations, but in this game, the Bulrock story has never happened. Oh, wow, we can... <laughs> we can walk here. That's actually kind of cool. But there's nothing hidden here. So this is... We... Arrive at Kokoro pretty quickly. Halt! No entrance into the Wahi due to Rahi swarms. I hope she's okay. Uh, wait, what? Um. It was easy to enter, though. Was I supposed to do this? Uh. Am I gonna break the game if I do actually go there? Uh, 
Oh, new enemies. Floating rookie fish. Okay. <laughs> I guess I've seen stranger things in this game, but... Uh, I mean, where am I supposed to go? Oh, he. this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, pfft. I feel stupid now. <laughs> Welcome to Kokoro. I feel so stupid. I was just thinking, like, where where do I go? <laughs> I thought that was the entrance to Kokoro. It's good to get outside once in a while to fish. Hello. I heard that there's a resistance force that's been countering shadows. Do you know anything about them? I think that's us. Interested in a trophy of golly? It's really cool and, you re and you'd really like it, like it, I think. You can have it for a thousand widgets. Wow. <laughs> we'll do it. Enjoy the trophy, sir. Also, this is a Comatoran uh, face. Of course, we're always going to buy these trophies. Welcome to my shop. I shall sell and buy. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Nothing good in terms of equipment, but... And she no longer... S she doesn't sell potions. Agility increases. Hmm. It's a bit more cost-effective. Is it more cost-effective? Yeah, it's it in uh, Le Coro. But we need Miracle Potions. Like, really, we need Miracle Potions. Maybe we'll take five of them. And sell our potions. I don't know about these. Alright, we've done our shopping. I'm concerned about Dragonokama. Okay, so... Oh, so Turaganakama is missing. Okay. No. Son of the Toa, you've arrived just in time. Four. Our only warrior went into the Wahi to try and fend off a swarm of Rahi. She should have returned by now, so I fear the worst. I must ask that you go into the Wahi and make sure she comes back safely. We shall try. Okay, so it wasn't Nakama they were worried about. Well, she's concerned about Turaganakama, but... She is here. Uh, in pass. We'll buy an in pass, but I don't think we need to heal. No, we don't need to heal. We'll save it for next time. I just got back from the shores. It's fun to walk in the shallow water, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. And you buy. Okay, I. On my way here, I actually sold a ton of uh, strange stones that I had gotten from. So. Uh, I don't have anything to sell to him. Okay, this looks like Kai's uh, room, Kai's hut. I'm trying to fix my boat, I hit the reef and it sprung a leak. If only I had some deep sea weed. Okay, maybe we can get her some deep sea weed. I'm watching after Nixie's hut, she's off pondering th things. Okay. So Nixie's gone. Tamatoran. Do I sense an undertone of racism here? Alright. Well, racism aside, this place is quite nice. Oh, woe is me. I am all alone in this world. Hali has Jala, Maku has Huki, and I have no one. There is a Tamatoran that I like, but I am too afraid to talk to him. He always walks atop the Great Wall where I can see him from afar. Maybe... <laughs> Hi, you have no friends. Maybe I could go break the ice. Would you really do that? I'd be so thankful. Like I said, he's always atop the Great Wall. Sounds like another side quest. I found this strange item. I can't figure out how to use it. You can have it. We get the radio. What a bizarre little thing. I remember this radio from back when I played this game long ago. It's here. Oh, we can send the trophy. To uh, <coughs> to the uh, gallery thing, radio track one. Okay, so this is the the ending theme from Matanui Online game, which I really like. 
What about track two? Okay, well, I think we've heard this theme. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the opening theme, I think. And what about track three? Oh, okay, that didn't really work. Oh, we can dive into the water. Maybe we can find some uh, deep sea wheat here. Oh, nice relaxing music here, actually. I really like it. Now here, maybe... And we have some Tarakava. These are new. These are new, I think. Or did we already fight Tarakava? I can't remember. Oh, we're using fire and water. Well, I guess Jala did it in uh, 07, so... Alright, they were easy. Easy peasy. Maybe we fought one as a boss fight at some point, I think. But now they're just regular enemies. Um... Okay, art piece 07. Yeah, it's part of the side quest, but we don't have that many art pieces, actually. So I don't know if we'll be able to complete that side quest. I would love to, but... What about here? The indents of a crana are carved into luck. Ah. Uh, now I'm kind of regretting that we didn't... Um, that we missed out on some crana in Pokoro. Because they're clearly useful now. But we don't have all of them. We only have a few. Oh, we have a, an encounter with the Avmatoran. Strange stones, okay. I think this area is large enough to warrant a, a cloak of ghosts. Because I don't want to run into wild Rahi all the time. Now what do we have here? It's a really cool area. Just here for exploration. What do we have here? Oh, we get the deep sea weed. Okay, so we can now go to Maku and she can fix her boat. Okay, we can't go here. Kind of misleading. Yeah, we can't interact with any of the seaweed here. Also here we can't go anywhere. I should have used the Cloak of Ghosts earlier, because now it's no longer useful. Okay, we just like, <laughs> we just like, leaped out of the water, or, like shot up. Okay. Now let's go to Maku. Is that deep sea weed? That's what I need to fix my boat. Can I have it? Sure. Thanks. Hold on. There, my boat is fixed. If you ever need a ride somewhere, I'd be happy to take you. Where do you need to go? Oh, well, I, I like the picture. Alright, yes, yes, a boat service. This is amazing. Alright, let's go to Tawahi to complete the side quest uh, with, the, with the... With the Gamma Tauren who wants a date. Let's do that. I mean, of course, this would be. This is the time where Matev goes like, "Love is not canon," but we don't believe that. For us, love is always canon. All right, let's. I really don't get why love had to be decanonized in the first place because there really is no point. Because I mean, even though Mator and don't reproduce, they can still love, like I don't really see the point of decanonizing it. Okay, so it's someone who stands atop the wall. That's all we know. Is it you? No. And we can go here. Is it you? Hmm, what's that? I see. So there's a Gamma Tauren whose eye have, I have caught, yes? Tell her that I'd be delighted to meet her soon. Oh, I'd love to meet this Gamma Tauren. Alright. Well, that was easy. He was all up for it. He is definitely in for getting a date. So we're gonna go and take and go and uh, bring the good news to the Gamma Tauren. 
And while we're here, we might actually check the check our progress on on the well the chamber where we have all these like um, complete the Pokoro side quest. So we haven't completed a side quest in Pokoro. We're gonna have to do that at some point. Everything else we have completed. Completed the Likoro plot. Okay. And here we have the Toa. That's Toa Gali from the Bionicle Saga 2001 to 2002. She was the only girl in the original Toa team in Mata Nui. What a fine one. Agreed. Okay. That's Toa Liwa from the Bionicle Saga 2001 to 2002. A bit of an airhead, but fun to be around, especially when he'd give you a ride by flying. That's Toa Pahatu from the Bionicle Saga 2001 to 2002. He liked to kick things, especially hard things like rocks. Doing so, he lit up many Rahi. How do you light up Rahi by kicking them? I don't really get that. Let's talk about Parker from the Saga 0102. He's the cool one, get it? No, see, because he's the Toe of Eisen, as it's called, he's so he's cool. Yes. I think we've read these already. He controlled the element of fire and pretty much pewned everybody, okay. So this is our progress so far. This is... Wow, we still have a lot of things to do, actually. Wow. But we have also done many things, and the glo Cloak of Ghosts has ended. But no matter. We shall return to Gakoro. What? He'd like to meet me? This is so great. I don't know how I can ever repay you. I know. There's something here that could help you save the island. There's something about the Krana Vault. No one ever sees anything, but I know something's there. And something that is there but can't be seen has to be important, right? Ah. Okay, so she, her reward wasn't an item. It's a clue. And I think I know what we can do about this, because we have the upgrades. Spirit's Vision. Okay, so I think now we can... Yes, there is indeed something. There's nothing inside. What good is a hut that appears with an upgrade and does nothing? Oh wait, there's something written inside. Risen Force. Um... Risen Force. Maybe that's... Um, Maybe that's an X extra. I'm not sure. Okay, so it was a code. We get Tahu's Fire Sword. Okay, this is very interesting. This is useful. Uh, no. No, what is Tahu's Fire Sword? Could this really be? This could this really have been used by Toa Tahu? But we can actually use it, and we can also use the Kopaka Shield. I wonder why. It's not like Kahuti can use it either. That's a very mysterious thing, to be sure. But I think we can now go and um, complete this. Okay, there's trouble there, but I wonder what's going on here. Okay, we can actually go inside. The Krana Yo fits inside the Indents. Okay, so we get a Kanohi Miru. That's interesting. I'm glad we actually had the Krana for that, at least. Although we missed out on some other things. So now we can go here. Let's see first what the Miru does. Increased evasion and no Terran damage. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna save. And see what's going on here. You three, you look like warrior types. You must help me. Our only trained warrior, Sula, is up there fighting Rahi. Help! Pardon forgive my manners, but what are you doing still standing around? I just carried the disc, Airhead. I don't know how to use it. Come on, follow me. What do we do? Fight. You stay here, alright? We can take care of this. Okay. Alright, so we are going to... Wow, that's a lot of Tarakava. But luckily it's no challenge to us because we have we have skills and weapons that hit all of them. 
At least I think we're not in trouble. I mean, I hope these guys are not going to prove me wrong. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe it's not a good thing that Le Luar has a has a Krana because now he can't use his uh, magic spells. I mean, sure, the physical attack is pretty good, but I think he could have done more with the... In any case, it looks like it won't be that much of a challenge. I mean, we can hope, <laughs> at least. Okay, come on. Just get a turn. If only he didn't miss so much, Lua would be great. Alright, just three more left. I think... Oh, Lua is dead. I was not expecting that, to be honest. And that's also pretty bad. And I wasn't paying attention. So it is my screw up. And these action bars are filling really slowly. Probably because uh, there's so many enemies and they're probably pretty fast. Alright. Okay, only two more. Two more left. Come on, guys, you can do this. Even without uh, Luar. Oh, okay, of course he missed. And now we have to wait like a minute for the second time he can attack. Ah. Uh. Well, at least Kahuti hits, even if it wasn't enough. Okay, we are going to end this. No. No, we are going to end this with a... Uh, this. Okay. Come on guys, you can you can do faster than this. All right, what is your Okay, X X strike. Great. All right. We are finished here, and we get some high potions which are probably actually useful. That was amazing. Thank you, warriors. Dragon Akama sent us to help you. She feared that something had happened to you. Well, I'm fine now. Thanks again. I see you brought my friend along. Hi, Sula. Well, uh, Sula, you should get back to Kokoro now. Yes, I shall then. Alright, so we have finished this. We have saved Sula. Oh, there's something here. Okay, this probably blocks access to the next area. I have heard of your victory, son of the Toa. However, I shall be busy for a while in preparation for the boat race. Uh, so you can't just tell us where the orb is so we can, you know, save the island instead of, like, waiting for a boat race? Outsiders, you must be here for the boat race. You are, right? Sure. Wow, you look like serious competitors. I'll root for you. Uh-huh. Okay, so instead of saving the island, we're going to participate in a boat race. I wonder how we can actually do that. How do we participate? Uh, hello, Sula. We didn't expect to see you again so soon. I often come here to think. I'm worried about the Tarakawa threat. But we quick defeated them, didn't we? You defeated one of their hordes. However, there seems to be an impossibly end endless number of them coming from a cave to the far east. Nobody has dared to wander near there. But with your help, we'd be happy to accompany you. Good. If my fears are confirmed, we four may have a chance to stop the surprising. Oh, okay. So just like that, she joins us, and I guess we're going back to the beach. This is the way, right? How long has this pillar been here? I placed it here to keep Sarakava out. It's been somewhat effective. Anyway, it crumbles with the touch of focused water. 
Okay, so another Matoran. There, let's go. Who can use uh, elemental spells? This world never ceases to amaze me. Alright. Let's see what we have here. This is the entrance. Ugh, what's that stench smell? Do you really want to know? Quick forget that thought then. Here's the plan. We go in, wipe them out, come back. Or we could just collapse the cave. No, that is only a temporary solution. We should end this threat here and now. I agree, let's go. How is collapsing the, ga the cave only a temporary solution? I really get that. I mean, we would kill all the Tarakawa and everyone would be happy, right? And we still have the co cloak of ghosts. Okay, we're gonna have to fight here. Everyone is healed and ready to fight, so... So hopefully we'll make quick work of these guys. There's probably like a Tarakawa Nui or something at the end. Okay, Sola seems pretty good. Maybe we should uh, equip her though. Alright, water actually did decent damage even though it's also water. Okay, water type. Okay, let's see what we can equip Sola with. Demon Whip, Bone Shield, let's give her a Pakari. Okay. And yeah, we're going in the wrong direction. So this is just a dungeon full of Tarakava that we just need to defeat each of them individually. I kind of dread that, to be honest. But, uh, I suppose I can skip the rest of the Torakava battles, because there's gonna be quite a few of them, probably. Alright, so, here goes. Alright, there's another one. Wow, it feels like these guys are kind of defenseless against us, really. Because uh, they're not that strong. And they're not doing that, that much damage against us. Uh, so there's just more and more of them. There's probably a boss at the end, though. Uh, seriously, this is just a really, <laughs> really dull way to have a side quest or a dungeon. Yeah, it's just the same fight repeated over and over. Maybe that was the last one, or... Cloak of... Okay, so get this. In addition to these Tarakava, the random encounters here, and the fact that there are random encounters in this place is already quite outrageous, they are also the same Tarakava. So, yeah, that's the kind of dungeon this is. Just endless Tarakava. And I, and I get that they're going for that, I mean, that's the theme here, but oh my goodness, it's just so much. Just the same Tarakawa over and over again. Oh my goodness, I hope it's over soon. Alright, still some more. And finally we have reached the end, and this is probably... Uh, ah, this must be the last one. Careful, that's no ordinary Tarakawa, that's the Queen Tarakawa. I might have guessed. Let's just quick get this over done with. This stench smell is driving me crazy. And I really hope that we survive this because I didn't save. Okay, so first things first, we are going to... And we are going to die! We are going to have to do all of this again. For goodness sake! Okay, we finally did it. We beat the queen. 
It, the battle itself wasn't that difficult, it was just the fact that I didn't save. <laughs> Whew, we did it! Yes, for now the Tarakava threat has been ended. It still stench smells. Let's go tell Turaganakama. And... Yeah, we're gonna have to leave. By ourselves. Or maybe there's a shortcut? Of course there isn't. Because why would there be? Turaganakama, we did it! We put down the Tarakava threat! I am overjoyed to hear this. Matev, we are forever in your debt. Turaga, it's merely my duty. Duty that was long overdue. Perhaps you would be willing to do something else for me, then? Of course. Gakoro is hosting an island-wide canoe race today, and a representative from every Koro shall be participating. However, the racer from Takoro sent a message that I just recently received, informing me that he could not make it. I would be honored if you would take his place. Ah, I've always wanted to race in a canoe. Today's, our today's for first tries, then. I haven't, ever s I haven't ever stepped in one before. It couldn't be much different than a normal boat, right? Heh, <laughs> it's quite different, actually. Help me quick out. Splash water, ugh. You'll need a canoe of your own. I'm sure somebody in Gakoro can make one for you. I'll take my leave for... I'll take my... Uh, I'll take my leave of you now, Matev. Thanks for all you've done. So she just leaves. Okay. So we need a canoe. And... Okay... What a bizarre little thing. It's the radio, yes. Did we check out the last track of it? Oh, this is cool. This is a new one. Thanks for your help, Martel. Oh, I have no idea who can help us, but I think we're going to leave that off to the next episode anyway. Because, um, yeah, we're running out of time. Oh, actually, we uh, need a canoe. I don't suppose you would know where to get one, do you? Well, most Gamatora make their own. I've made one too myself. If you give me some supplies, I think I could put one together for you. What do we need? Mm, let's see, lots of stuff. I know that much. We get our supplies shipped in from Lecoro, actually. I bet you can go pick up some supplies up there. Thanks. But that's gonna have to wait till the next episode. So next time on The Son of the Toa, we're going to get supplies from Lecoro and participate in a boat race. But until then, see you guys later.